there we go. All right, my friends. Good to see you. Good to see you. And uh, so we're going to get started, guys, real easy, uh, real easy warm up. We're going to do a few things and uh, then get right into the form. Maybe even work on our self defense today if we have time. Okay. All right, attention. And about me. Student tenants begin. Honor, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self control, courage, community. About me. To be. All right, let's get started. 25 jumping jacks. Go. Let's get it done. Nice, nice, nice. Good deal, good deal. Excellent, excellent. Coming up Memorial Day weekend next week. Good. Nice, nice, good, good, and done. All right, now we're gonna do 25 air squats. And when we do the air squats, I'm gonna turn sideways so you guys can see. I want you, you're going to start just like this, arms down. As you go down, we want to bend the legs, arms out, come back up. So like you're pushing your hips forward. So it's going to be here, boom. Just like that. 25 air squats, I'll be right back to the camera in just a minute. Okay, very good. Keep it up, keep it up. Nice, Mr. Alouise. Way to make those legs stronger. That's it, Janae, keep it up. Get those hips lower. That's it, lady, good job. Okay, now, from here, uh, we're gonna work on just some side lunges. So we're gonna to step to the side, bend the knee, come up, step together, other side. So you have a little bit of momentum. So one side, ready? Let's do 10 on each side, 20 total, go. That's it. Good job guys and girl. Excellent. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna work one more little agility drill for warm up. We're gonna start in a crab walk position. So just watch first. I'm gonna start in a crab walk position. Now, here's the deal. You're gonna take opposite foot, then your hand. Now, once I figure out which foot and hand I'm using, foot always goes under, hand comes over. I'm going to turn 90 degrees. Now I'm going to do the other foot, other hand, and face the opposite wall. Foot and hand, foot goes under. Opposite foot and hand comes under until you get back to here. We're going to do 10 full revolutions. 10 times in a circle. Five one direction, five going the other direction. So you're going to do five going this way. And five going this way. Make sense? Do the best you can, Janae. You got it. All right. 
10 revolutions, five each direction, go. Hand and foot, Janae, foot goes under. Perfect. Let me see, Janae, come on. Pick one foot up, one hand. That's it. Now the foot goes under. As you turn belly down. Yeah, that's it, go. Good, but it doesn't make a complete circle, lady. You're not break dancing. So just turn and face the side wall. Right there, freeze. Yes, put your hand down. Now put your foot back, perfect. Now face the pictures. Now go the other direction. Pick up the other hand on the foot. You got it, now keep going that way. Now you're gonna face the fireplace. Not by spinning in crab walk, lady. That's it, yes, yes. All right, keep spinning. Keep going, Janae. You got it. Don't shake your head at me, chick. I can't. I know you got it. Go. Just start moving. That's it. Keep going. That's fine. That's it. Good. Every quarter turn. Perfect. All right. That's it. Come on. Stand up, Janae. All right. Forward arm swings. Good, and backwards. Nice, keep it up. Hugs. Arms up and down. Good, hands on your hips, head up and down. Right and left. Ear to shoulders. Head circles. By the way, I'm glad you guys can't hear the crackling in my neck. I can't, man, it's loud. Sounds like I got my ear in a bowl of Rice Krispies. Hula hoops. Sit, other direction. Faster hula hoops. Good, on your bellies, cover stretch. Look over one shoulder, drop your hip to the floor. Look over the other shoulder. Back to the middle, look up. Push back, arm straight, stretch your shoulders. Head down. All right, from here, toes under. Sit back on your heels, stretch your feet. For those round kicks coming up. Should be fairly stretched by now. Should be something you guys are doing every day, even if the class doesn't tell you to. Good, have a seat, spread your feet. Hands on your head, start going down side to side. Good. 
Good. Keep it up. Get those elbows down to the floor. Elbows then to your knees. Elbows to your toes so that you're laying on your leg. Now, down the middle, forehead to the floor. Reach out as far as you can. And butterflies, nose to your toes. Good deal. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, from here, let's have a seat. I'm gonna do a little stretch here. So feet out, just kind of like in that crab walk position, but go ahead and sit, you know, sit down on the floor. We're gonna take one foot, we're gonna stick it up on our knee, and then slide our hips towards our heel. And let that foot come closer to our chest. And in fact, shape your foot like the twist kick. So don't just let it rest, shape it. So it's gonna turn down, not up, turn down. You should feel that stretch in your hip. Hmm, I was just cheating something. I was leaning this way. Do you guys, I know you may not be able to see that. So you want to make sure everything is centered. I feel more of a stretch now. Good, switch legs. Nice. Now from here, what you're going to do is we're going to kick out and bring that foot back. So kick out sideways, make sure your foot's not shake funky. So sideways, twist kick, bring it back to the top of your knee. So you have that control. So it's going to go out, back. Let's do 10 of them. Ready? One, out, back. Two, out, back. Three, out, back. Four, out, back. Five, out, back. Six, out, back. Seven, out, back. Eight, out, back. Nine, out, back. 10, out, hold it. Hold it right there. Don't let it come out. Don't let it come back. Make sure your foot is shaped properly. Don't let the foot roll up. And back, switch sides. All right, here we go, other side. One, out. Back, two, back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Good, nine, and 10. Oh, we gotta hold that one, hold that last one. Hold it out, shape the foot properly. Make sure it's flat, make that leg turn flat. None of this, flat, and 10, bring it back. All right, stand up. Very good, very good. Okay, my friends. Now, we're going to work on those as twist kicks. Obviously, we were just working our twist kicks, but we're going to start just in a front stance, and we're just going to twist kick with the back leg, turning it over, trying to get it as flat as possible. So, a couple of things to do. As silly as it looks, 
your head going opposite of the kick. For some reason, I haven't figured this out yet. It changes the composition of your core, leans you just a little funky, and the foot rolls over better. I don't know the mechanics of it other than just it happens. So from here, you want to, if you want, you don't have to, but if you want, you can tilt your head opposite of the way that you're kicking. And it tends to come out to the side more. One thing we don't want to do is this. I'm not going over here, kicking the person right in front of me. Does that make sense? All right, 10 on each leg. Begin. Good, let's try to get them head level, guys. Good gallery view. Nice. You can if you want. All right, Aiden, you're rolling your foot in. I'm seeing the top of your foot. Roll it out, I should see the bottom. Think about when you put your foot down behind you, that you're stepping on the inside of your foot. So the outside of your foot is coming off the ground. Better, that's better. It'll actually make it, because it's doing this and you shape it, it'll actually turn out more. That's it now. You're doing great, Mr. Aloise. I want you to think about, here's what I'm watching you do, is it's coming up almost like a sidekick, okay? Like an inverted sidekick, which is a kick. I want you to extend your leg then. So it goes like that. Okay, it's like a front kick turned the opposite direction of a round kick. <clears throat> there you go. It's gonna feel weird when you do it right. All right, so if, you, if you're having difficult, what, you did 10 on both legs, ma'am? Okay, if you're having difficulty with the foot turn, go outside and hit a tree. You'll start learning to turn your foot right. Pain and pleasure drill. You hit the top of your toes on that tree, it's not gonna feel good. Concrete blocks, it doesn't matter what you're hitting it on, just making sure that you hit it correctly. Yes, that's right, Aiden. So it's, I, I know you guys can't really see, yeah, you got this one. Yeah, I know you can't really see this too well on the camera, but the shape of the foot is not normal. Normal is this, it's this. So you're turning your, heel, everything in. So now as my foot goes, it stays rotated. If I shape it normal, it does this, okay? So when we do it, it's turned out. See how my foot is actually pointed out right now? This is normal position for my foot. So you're gonna feel the muscles when I shape. Watch, watch the leg, I know. Hey, I'm showing my leg on class. But see the muscle flex right here. That's the muscle that turns the toes out. So I've done, you know, obviously I've done this a long time, so I've got well-developed muscles there, but it is just a matter of doing that. Uh, another way you can develop that muscle is uh, if you have, you know, you can use a bottle of water on a towel, something heavy on a towel, and just use this target as the example, and just, A lot of times when you sprain an ankle on the outside, they use that drill like that to strengthen your ankle up. All right, so again, it's strengthening up that muscle as well. Make sense? All right, very good, very good. So from here, let's get into our self-defense and uh, Mr. Sluder will probably hop out here in just a minute and come help me. So picture, you know, here's our situation from the self-defense. Somebody comes up behind you, grabs you, two-handed on the back of the neck, right, or on your shoulders. 
So from here, Mr. Sawyer comes up, grabs me. Here, I want to raise my arm and I'm gonna turn with that arm. I'm gonna step here, but my arm is gonna do the leading and then my body turns, okay? So big circle, swing, hug. Now, I want to do a little lean back. You'll see him come up on his toes a little bit. Now, two punches, one, two, palm heel to the face. I was hitting my hand, not him. I was doing it on purpose. All right, so from here, as I step through, I want the arm to lead. If I can do this, then you understand, I've got the flexibility to do it that way. My foot movement is secondary. Now, if I don't do the little lean, which kind of, I'm not really, I'm not trying to pick him up. I'm just trying to straighten his arms. If I stay here, he can pull his arm out. He actually can use this arm against my body to leverage himself to get out. But if I do this, and then I do a little bit of a lift, watch, 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 just how much. Now as he starts to go, It's a lot more difficult. And one, two, three. Now, I went with my right side on purpose because his liver is right here. And I'm gonna hit his liver. All right, that's gonna hurt real bad. So from here, Couple things to watch out for self-defense wise as I come through and I loop and I'm close. Mm, head butt. So you may want to give him the top of your head. Pull your arms up. Makes sense. You may want to duck your head so that if he does headbutt anything, he's headbutting the top of your head and uh, it's gonna hurt him more than it's gonna hurt me. Okay, so from this angle, I'm gonna turn, arm goes, wrap. See my hand, I like to flex my hand here. This is kind of makes it a little bit weak, even if I flex, it makes it a little bit weaker. This, turning my wrist, you tell by his face, makes it a little bit tighter. So my hand is out. Or I can even grab, if I have something like a jacket on, I can grab the jacket to make it tighter. Now, I just lift up. You see the difference here, here, see his body posture. I compromise his spine just a little bit. Now from here, one, two, right here. So here's the rib cage. I wanna go right there below the rib cage and then palm heel to the face. Make sense? All right, practice. I know you, don't have, you may not have a partner. If you're doing it, Mr. Allerys, if you do it with your father, because he's so much bigger, it might be a little bit difficult, okay? Because his arms may be wider, bigger than what your arm can wrap around, okay? This is kind of made for someone closer to our size, but it will still work. You just may have to be faster on the punches, okay? All right, let's try it a couple of times. Thank you, Mr. Sluder. All right, Janae, come on. Imagine someone's grabbing your shoulders. You don't want them to grab your shoulders. Come on, show me. Arm up. Right hand up, right hand up. Start reaching around towards the arms. Step back, yeah, that's it. Go, turn, wrap them, yep. Good, step back towards your, to where you're facing him a little bit. That's perfect. Now, two punches. Yep, two punches to the ribs. Mm -hmm. One, two, and then palm heel to the face. Got it, good, again. Nice, 
Remember, super tight wrap because you're wrapping the elbows up. Don't let them bend. Nice. All right, time. All right, Mr. Sluder, I'm sorry. Could I have you come back one more time? I'm gonna add a little bonus to this technique. Okay, little bonus. Yes, Miss Holiday. Real quick, when we're doing that palm heel, are we hitting them right here on the top of their nose? No, not oh, the right top, here? here. Okay. So you're driving in. There's a bundle of nerves that run right through here. If you've ever been hitting the nose, by a ball or anything like that, that's what's happening is right through there. Bundle of nerves and uh, makes your eyes water, makes your nose all as bad. Yep. You know, you're looking to, you know, disable so you can run, right? Okay. So one thing here, this might happen. You go to, go, you go to turn and this arm sneaks out. You only got this one. This is not in the technique. I'm just showing you bonus. Okay. So if I, if this arm stays in here, I'm on his elbow and I'm just going to rip against my back. <laughs> okay. So think about what's our situation. He's choking us. It's okay to break it. Make sense? He's using lethal force. It's okay to break him or her. All right. So again, comes in. Boom, that arm slips. And go. If you're unsure about them coming with you, stick your leg out in front so they can't come with you. And you just rip that arm with the elbow. There's actually some MMA uh, video where guys have done that in an MMA round. They've had an underhook, whatever, like this, and you let him go, and he goes wham, 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 and breaks the guy's arm in the middle of the fight. Nasty. So real quick, again, this is not your technique for testing, but second degrees, we're having a little bit of fun. All right, any quite my type of fun. All right, let's try that. Just kind of picture that and yeah, just grab it and ripping through. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it to a friend real fast. Because if they get their arm stuck, it's gone. Elbow's gone. Mm -hmm. Now grab your wrist, Janae, and turn towards the camera. Not that slow. Like really twist your core. Like you're gonna throw an elbow. No, the other one, like a forearm. Yes. Okay. All right, so that's just a little bonus technique for today. Just a little bonus technique. All right, so let's look at the form, guys. So uh, I wanna see you guys, we're gonna do the form together and uh, we're gonna go all the way through phase three or part three of it. If you are a level one, then if you wanna keep up, keep up. It's not gonna hurt you to learn past your spot, okay? If you don't, go back to the beginning and start practicing until I come back to you, okay? So I come back to the beginning. All right, I'm gonna turn, turn this on uh, speaker view. There we go. All right, chin for your form. Get it back. And one, X block, back stance. Two, twist kick. Change 
Angerberg, right hand on the hip. Three, right punch. Four, left punch. Five, as we're stepping back, switch hands, step all the way back, high block, left side. One handed chamber, low block. From here, pressing block. Turn, 45 degrees. One double fist block with a one legged stance. Right hand goes the opposite, 45. Left hand goes back. Step to a sitting stance, palm heel. Block, palm heel block. Punch low, belly level. Hands to the, hand to the ear. Back fist down the middle. That is the end of section one. On to section two. Right foot steps even, left foot steps. Double knife hand block. Number one, front kick, chamber, spear hand, front stance, spear hand, front stance. Number two, side kick, chamber as you come down, double fist block. Good back stance pointing to the front of the room. Right foot's going to step forward, turn face to back, double fist block. Left foot's going to step backwards, turn to the front, double knife hand block. Right hand chambers, up, left hand down, shift to a sitting stance, right nine block, right hand down, left hand at the bicep. Left hand around the neck. Right foot's going to step all the way around to a front stance, low block with a knife hand. Round kick, step side kick, yeah, yeah, twin punch up. That's the end of second section. Third section, pressing block from the right side to the left side. Right hand reaches, left upset punch. Left hand reaches, right foot shifts to the other side of the foot. Left front stance, reinforced elbow. Chamber over your left shoulder, jump to an X stance, double inner forearm block. 45 degree angle. Step out sitting stance, right palm heel. Left punch, right back fist down the middle. Furrow back to me. All right. So I'm assuming a lot right now, Mr. Aloise, that you have that down. From the last time I watched you, you look pretty good at it. As far as uh, Mr. Pate and Ms. Holiday, how are you guys feeling on just that first section? Okay, Mr. Pate says he feels okay. Ms. Holiday, you feel like you need a little bit more work on it. Okay, all right. All right, so what I wanna do, oh, it looked like this. I couldn't really see anything. I was like, what are you doing? All right, very good, very good. All right, guys, so I'm gonna count it through again, and I'm gonna watch you this time. Mr. Sluter is watching as well, so if he sees something, he's gonna chime in. All right, so Chin B. Ready, one. Good, back stance, really turn. There you go, two. Good, work on that foot shape for that twist kick. Chamber, right hand on the hip, left hand out. Three. Good, center punch. Yes, don't punch just straight out from your arm. Put it right in the middle. I know that didn't look like it, but if I'm sitting in front of the camera, right in the middle, boom, not out here. Four. 
Lunge. Five, stepping back, switch hands. Eye block in a front stance. Step back. Miss Holiday, yep, you're gonna switch, switch hands as you step back. It should be a left high block. Good, but that hand should go all the way to your hip, not cross in front of your chest like this. Do that again, switch your stance back. So it comes all the way to your hip, all the way back here before you go. Miss Holiday, look, here's what I see you do. Watch me. Here's what I'm seeing you do. You're here, you throw the punch. You're doing this, okay? I wanna see this. So you're here. Okay, it's gotta come back to your hip. All right. Now, five, low block. Low block, Mr. Pay. There we go. Either you did it and you were ahead of me or you just jumped the gun, one of the two. Six. Good, hand position looks like this. Separate, make a triangle. Seven. Good. Flex your foot, Miss Holiday. That's it. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. All right, that's section one. Eleven. Two-step turn, double knife hand block. Twelve, front kick. Thirteen, spear hand. You don't have to, Miss Holiday, it's fine. Fourteen, start your form over. Uh, Mr. Pate, should be the other hand now. I think you did the wrong hand first. That's it. Sixteen. Number two side. 17, double fist block facing the camera. Good, 18, double fist block facing the back. So step forward, yep. 19, step backwards, double knife hand. 20, nine block, sitting stance. 21, mm -hmm. that's the right direction. So come towards the camera, Aiden. Not, uh, it's a low block with a knife hand. Knife hand, low block. 22. Number two, round kick. 23, step side kick and yell. 24, twin punch high. All right, that's section two. Section three, 24. Or 25, rather, 26. Good, Tony is your right hand on your hip. This is just a, a, just a single upset punch. You do the reinforce later. 27. Good, 28. Good, 29. 30, 31. Good, look, bring this out a little bit more. Bring that back fist out a little bit, yes. Yeah, all right, good. Yes, yeah, so the only thing I saw, Mr. Uh, Alois, was after your uh, pressing block, it's this, just a single. Later on, you just when you finish here, go palm your punch, do a ridge hand, round kick, um, double fist, losing my mind. Oh, oh, oh. I'm losing my mind. Round kick, double fist. No, swing punch, that's it. And then the upset punch. You think I hadn't done these forms in, you know, 15, 20 years, something like that. All right, any questions? Nice. 
All right, on your own now. On your own, we're gonna watch you, see you do your form. When you finish, start again. We'll go from there. All right, Chin B. Uh, Mr. Sluter, if you will watch Mr. Pate. Okay, all right, begin. Other hand, Janae. That one first, yes. Step back, high block. Good, Janae. So the only thing you missed was that one punch. That's good. Keep going, good job. Good. Mr. Aloise, when you do your palm heels, I want to see a 90 degree bend in this arm. So don't just don't reach out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me watch you go from the beginning. Okay, go ahead. Same thing on your back fist, Aiden. Bring it out about 45 degrees. There you go. That way you're actually reaching beyond your, you know, this isn't going to back fist anybody. It's got to reach out to them. I only know the first section, which is just mine. I don't know the second or third. You don't have to do it. Okay. Yep. All right, Mr. Alois, let me see it from the beginning. Nice. All right. The only thing I want to really pick on you about, other than I saw, well, there's two things really. So, beginning of the form, I want these hands to reach all the way back like this. So they're straight. They don't have to go too far back. They really don't, you know, they're here. You don't have to be like this, but here. Boom, X block, twist kick. Here, when you come down, I have a sneaking suspicion that your back leg is a little bent in your front stances. And I'm seeing that, I can't see your legs, but what I'm seeing is this, okay? Which in, in 10 makes me believe this is bent like so, all right? So it's gotta be straight when you're here. Boom, boom, come back, here. Again, same thing, shoulders are turned which leads me to believe this knee is bent. Okay. Just, you know, I can't see him, but I'm making a, a, an educated guess from millions of kids I've watched do this form over the years, okay? All right, guys, plank challenge time. One minute, 42 seconds. One minute, 42. I've already done mine. I did mine with the first degrees. Mr. Sluter did his with the first degrees. So here we go. And begin. One minute, 42 seconds. Hopefully that dog doesn't come get you, Mr. Pate. Here, puppy. Yeah, there you go, get on top of him. <laughs> no, he looks like a climber. <laughs> He's up there in the windowsill. 
Good, keep those hips up, Miss Holiday. I see your back bending. Don't let anything touch at all but your elbows, forearms, and toes. Get those hips up. Tighten your core, tighten your back. You've already gone 40 seconds, you're doing great. Good, one minute left. You got this, guys, keep it up. Forty-five seconds left. Get those hips up, Miss Holiday. Don't you don't you cobra stretch. Come on, shaking's normal. Get those hips up higher, higher. There. Get your knee off the ground. Get your knee off the ground. You can do it. This is mental toughness. Come on, get your knee up. Let's go. Twenty seconds. Last twenty. Hold it. It's much easier on the elbows, lady. Get your knee off the ground. My grandma can do it longer than what you're doing it. Come on, eight seconds, let's go. Time. When we're doing things like this, our body can do more than our mind thinks we can. There are guys out there, and granted, they're training for this, but they're doing planks for four hours. And you all are complaining about less than two minutes. They're doing 240 minutes. It's mental. This is all mental at that point. You guys got it. This is part of being a black belt and having mental toughness. Anybody start experiencing your core wasn't hurting, but it was your thighs that were started to burn a little bit. Yeah, I saw you get up that way, Mr. Pate. That's what, yes, your thighs will hurt more than your core will, because you're flexing to keep your legs straight. It's good stuff. All right, guys, 10 days. 10 days till we can be back in the school. 10 days. So. Schedule's out, video's out if you haven't seen it. Make sure you watch it if you haven't, so you know what to expect. We have an indoor, we have an outdoor. Don't come if you're sick, if you're coughing. Don't make people look funny at you when you're in class. All right, very good. You guys have a good weekend. Be safe, God bless, and we'll see you on the mat.